What is up YouTube, it is Coach Corey, and in today's video I wanted to do a heist ranking. I wanna rank all the brawlers specifically for heist from best to worst. I'm also gonna go over how they are in each map and what the best team compositions are for each of the heist maps. All right, let's get into it. So to start for heist, there's basically three tiers of brawlers. There's the very best brawlers, which happen to make up the best team composition in heist. Then there are the brawlers that are still good and usable. And then there are the brawlers that are really not usable in heist. Heist is a very specific game comp, uh, game mode. You really need brawlers that can either do a lot of damage, can break walls, or can throw over walls. You need brawlers that can do at least two of those three things. And there are a lot of brawlers that either can't do a lot of damage and can't break walls. And obviously there's only two that can throw over walls. So there's a lot of brawlers that really aren't very usable in heist. And as a matter of fact, I wouldn't use those brawlers and we will get into who those are. But to start out, let's go over the best three brawlers in heist. And that is Colt, Barley, and then Crow. I'm sure you could have guessed this. Together, they make up probably the best team composition in heist. It's very balanced on both offense and defense. Has a lot of capability as far as both are concerned. Colt is the strongest brawler in heist in the game right now, in my opinion. He has the ability to take over games by himself. He can do a lot of damage. He can break through walls. His super does a lot of damage to the safe. Overall, he is a very well-rounded brawler. He's great on both offense and defense. By himself, a good Colt can really carry a team, and Colt is very strong just by himself. Now, getting into number two, Barley. Barley is also very strong. Obviously, the ability to throw over walls is key in heist. There are a lot of walls in general, and that helps a lot. Now, also, he has a wide hit radius with his general attack, so he's good at zoning people. He can push people away. He can stop them from coming forward. But then, additionally, one of the main things with Barley is just his super. His super has a lot of offensive capability. If you can get close to the safe and throw his super, it will do a lot of damage to the safe and take it down very quickly. Now, at number three is Crow. Crow, one of the strongest brawlers in the game overall. Just his poison ability is very hard to deal with as an enemy team. He's one of the best defensive brawlers in the game, in my opinion, especially for Heist. He's very strong. He's hard to stop. He's also great distraction. When he jumps in, it's a great way to distract enemies. It's great for him. He can kill them and whittle them down and allow his teammates to do a lot of damage to the safe. Overall, Crow is a very strong brawler. Now, getting into the brawlers who are not quite as good, but still have the potential to be very strong, and they're definitely still usable. And let's start out at number four, and that is dynamite right as a thrower he has a lot of ability in heist being able to throw over walls is key so he can do a lot of damage just with his main attack and then additionally with his super he can break walls and do a lot of damage and hit multiple people so overall he's still a strong brawler he requires certain team comps to a bit since unlike barley he can't deal as much damage to the safe so he relies on others to deal that damage for him a bit more He's still a very strong brawler, and his ability to break walls can definitely be useful, especially com uh, combined with Ricochet. Now, Ricochet is at 5. Now, together, those two are a pretty good combination. Ricochet sort of needs Dynamite on his team to be on a good team for Heist. He needs people who can break walls for him, otherwise he really can't deal a lot of damage. Ricochet can deal a good amount of damage by himself, but if those walls aren't open, he can't really deal a lot of damage to the safe. His super can do a lot of damage once the walls are open, and he has long range, so he can really sort of snipe the safe some, unlike some other brawlers. He's a little bit longer range than Colt, so that definitely helps him some. He's strong defensively. Um, he's strong overall. He's a pretty good brawl. He's not quite as good as Colt. Colt is definitely a better option, but Ricochet can definitely work as well. Now at number six is Brock. Brock is still a strong brawler. He's not quite as strong. He doesn't deal quite as much damage. His reload's a little bit slow. Um, he doesn't deal as much damage at once. It's sort of pot shotting. Um, he's like a mini piper in that sense, but his super is very strong. It can deal a lot of damage to enemies and it can open up a lot of walls. So same thing with Brock as you're doing with Dynamite. You're gonna be focusing on killing enemies mostly on offense. You can deal damage to the safe as well, but it's not quite as strong as some other brawlers like Barley or Colt or even Ricochet. Ricochet does more damage than Brock as well. But Brock is still a strong brawler. And now getting into some melee. So at seven is Bull. Bull is pretty good. He's not quite as good as the other six. I would put the other six as definitely a decent amount ahead of Bull. And then a spell El Primo as well, who's right behind. So those two guys, they're really on defense. They're sort of just hiding 
and they're really trying to not let the enemy hit them so they uh, not trying to let them build up their super and then when they do get near the safe they can sort of gank them and kill them then and then on offense they're honestly a big distraction and they're trying to kill enemies when they jump in so they're pretty good they can be a good distraction it can allow your teammates to do a lot of damage to the safe while they're trying to deal with that high health melee brawler who's all of a sudden right on top of them that can definitely be a strong combo it's not quite as strong it's a better option for free to play players and i know a lot of people don't have crow i don't have crow i max brawlers all this i don't have crow either so bull and el primo can be a good substitute if you don't have crow you would only want one for sure um and then after those brawlers the rest of them really I probably wouldn't use. They have deficiencies in some way where your win rate's just not gonna be as good. Some of these brawlers are gonna be very good on defense and then weak on offense. Um, a lot of them just aren't as strong overall. They're not as well balanced and that's why I wouldn't use any of these brawlers. Shelly at nine, that's probably easily the best option of the ones left, but I still wouldn't use her. She's actually has a good potential on defense she can be very strong on defense especially with her super it can be hard uh to allow people to really you know throw their supers or use their supers it can stop people but as a support brawler she doesn't really have a lot of range you could use her instead of a bull or a primo but i really wouldn't she's just not as strong especially in offense she's not doesn't really have the ability sure she can break walls but she can't shoot around walls she can't do a lot of damage in general she's not really going to she can't get close to the safe very easily. Um, if she's next to safe, she can do a lot of damage, but it's hard for her to get there. She's not very great at killing enemies unless she's really close to them, and that really doesn't favor Heist very well. Now, at 10, Tara is very similar to Shelly. It's sort of a second-rate Shelly. Again, not very strong. I really wouldn't use Tara. Piper is okay. Piper has a decent defensive capability, can snipe the throwers uh, pretty well, um, and can snipe some of the other long-range brawlers like Colt and Ricochet. So in that sense, Colt, uh, Piper can be okay defensively, but on offense, Piper is really bad. Piper has a very low damage per second, has a really long reload, does not deal a lot of damage to the safe. Her super is just not that useful. Sure, it can open up walls, but it's sort of a waste of her super just to make yourself run all the way up and sort of put yourself in harm's way, which is really not a strong suit for Piper, and then it's making her deal less damage. Piper's really just not that great in Heist. I really wouldn't use her. I wouldn't use any of these guys. Spike at 12. Has the ability to deal some damage. Can be okay defensively. His super is not that bad. Um, Bo can sort of deal with some of the other throwers decently. And his mines can be okay defensively. Not that great. Not that good offensively either. Nita, um, honestly, is not that great. But the bear can deal some damage to the safe. Uh, Nita probably is... The best offensive capability out of these brawlers left but still not that great mortis pretty bad mortis can deal with dynamite very well um and is okay versus barley but really mortis is horrible on offense very bad deals almost no damage uh, i know some people think that he can be a good distraction but it's really not worth it it's just not a good idea it's you it's gonna be relies on your other teammates a lot it's generally not worth it jesse very bad um Honestly, the turret just dies way too easily, especially with all the throwers. Too many snipers. Jesse doesn't deal enough damage in general. Uh, same with Pam and Poco. Neither of them deal that much damage in general. They're both decent versus throwers. Um, their heal is not the most useful in Heist. It's okay. Uh, healing turret especially is pretty bad. Mm, they're basically just okay versus throwers, and that's it. All right, guys, so that's my overall ranking. So now let's get into how each of these brawlers are on each of the maps and also give you the best team count for each map. All right, so let's start out with Bandit Stash. Bandit Stash is a pretty well-rounded map. It's probably one of the more balanced maps, in my opinion. It has a decent amount of walls. It's less than Safe Zone, but more than Kaboom Canyon. So one of the key features with this map is those walls. And it really, I think the main difference between this map, as far as the rankings and the others, is it makes Crow not quite as good, especially on offense. It's harder for him to really be as annoying as it's fairly easy for a lot of the defensive brawlers to sort of hide away and get out of his range, making it hard for him to really pester people as much. Um, he's still a very good brawler, but I might recommend using someone else besides Crow. There are a couple good combinations on this map. You can do something like a Colt, a Barley, and a Brock. That's a very strong combination. There's a lot of wall-breaking capabilities. Um, it's able to deal a lot of damage. 
You could do something like a Dynamite, a Ricochet, and a Colt. Also another strong possibility, a lot of long range. Dynamite and Colt can open up walls for Ricochet. You're going to see a lot of long range brawlers being very strong in this map as they can really reach the safe from the sides very well if those walls are opened up. And then also they're just pretty good on defense. It's harder for people to be choke point as much. That's another reason why Crow isn't quite as good. He's still very strong though. There are a lot of different capabilities you can use. You can also use Bull or El Primo on this map. They're definitely good options. You can definitely use them here. You can charge in from one of the sides or in the center and then your teammates can follow you in. And also pretty good on defense since there's areas where you can, they can hide and not be hit and then they can come out and try and kill people as they're going for the safe. Definitely a lot of different options for Bandit Stash. Now for GG Corral. Now I know this map is a little outdated. It doesn't have the lake by the defensive side, but let's just ignore that. GG Corral is one of the most unique maps in the game and it's very different from the other heist maps. It has a lot of bushes. Um, it's generally a very open map. It's very free flowing. It's pretty easy to advance up the map in general. It, the main difference I think with GG Corral compared to the other heist maps is it heavily favors offense, whereas some of the other maps might favor defense a little bit. GG Corral is probably the most unbalanced and it favors offense the most. So when you make your team composition for GG Corral, you want to try and make a team comp that can defend um, more efficiently than other team comps. So offense won't be as important. So you want to try and have a defensive team in mind. So that's where you see this map having the most unique rankings, most different rankings. That's where Shelly and Tar and Spike are a little higher since they have a better defensive capability than people like Bull or El Primo. You're still going to have your general top six. Those guys are still going to be the best brawlers since they're very strong on defense in general anyways. They're also there's very high utility, good offense and defense. Pro is the best on defense by a good amount in my opinion. Uh, Colt's still very strong as well. Barley, Dynamite, Brock, same people, top six. But that's where you really see a difference at seven, eight, nine is Shelly and Tara are two very strong defensive options. That's really what they're best at. And the fact that they can also break open walls is a good plus for offense. So they can really, you know, they're very strong on defense. And then offense, they're still useful because they can open up walls for your teammates. I might recommend having a Shelly or a Tar on your team in GG Corral just for the defensive capability. Now, Spike is also a decent defender. Piper is okay. I probably wouldn't use them, but you could. It's definitely a possibility. If you have very someone who's very good at Spike or Piper, you could consider it. I would think I would have a Shelly and a Tara, and then combine with a Colt um, or a Brock, and then maybe with a Barley or a Dynamite. Now, if you have a Crow, he's also great to always throw in there as well, obviously. And now for Kaboom Canyon. Kaboom Canyon is one of the more open maps besides GG Corral, and it's also fairly easy to spawn trap on this map. So, long range is definitely a good option on this map, what with it being very open and just to help you get out of your spawn. So you're still gonna have the same top three as normal. That's gonna be your best team comp. But if you don't have Crow, there are plenty of other good options. Ricochet is very strong on this map in general. Now, anytime you use a Ricochet, you're probably gonna wanna use a Dynamite as well. So if you do use Ricochet, you can do Ricochet, Dynamite, and then you can do either a Colt or you can do a Brock. That's a good option. You can do a Colt, a Barley, and a Brock. That's another good team comp. You could use Bull or El Primo. They're decent options here but you may find it hard to get out of your spawn every once in a while if you do have a bull or a primo. They are a little easier to spawn trap in general. Okay, and last but not least, Safe Zone. Safe Zone is a very interesting map. It has a lot of walls and it's sort of easy to spawn trap. It definitely favors defense at least a little bit. Now, Safe Zone has a good amount of walls. So if you have brawlers who are able to break walls, it's very key for them to break the walls on offense. To allow your other brawlers not only to escape through but to really allow a lot of diversity in directions you can go and directions you can shoot from making it a lot harder to defend now since it is favoring defense on this map i would definitely recommend using a barley instead of a dynamite since barley has a lot more offensive capability than dynamite dynamite's a little bit better defensively he's still okay offensively he's still pretty good um he specializes really in killing people as opposed to dealing a lot of damage to the safe unlike barley now, if you're trying to use a Ricochet, you will need to use a Dynamite. Um, and the one thing with using Dynamite or Brock on this map is if you do use them, 
try and use their super somewhere near those two walls by the grass and open those walls up. If you can hit people as well, definitely a bonus. Always try and do both at the same time. If you're only doing one, it might be a waste. Um, it does favor defense on this map, so try and have offensive capability. Colt is definitely a must. I would try and have Barley. And then if you don't have Crow, you can do something like a Brock, um, maybe a Ricochet. Those are probably two decent options. You could also do a Bull or a Primo. They um, are definitely not bad on offense. It's a little hard for them to charge up their super on this map since people can really hide behind that wall. And it's hard for them to really potch at people and sort of chip away. Um, if they can, if you are able to get their super a decent amount though, it is a little bit easier to do a big push on this map with Bolo or Primo, but it's harder for them to get their super in general. Now, a real quick tip. You may have noticed I never recommended using two throwers in the same team, and I really wouldn't recommend this. It's definitely a possibility you can win with this. It's an okay team comp, but I would prefer not to. In general, it's just not quite as balanced. Um, it's much easier to get spawn trapped with that combination. If you're facing a team with very strong or very accurate long range brawlers, you're really going to struggle if you have two throwers. So overall, I probably wouldn't recommend using two throwers. You can do it, but it's not the best combination. And real briefly, just want to give a quick shout out to Feli for helping me make these heist rankings. Okay guys, those were all my rankings for Heist. What did you think? Did you disagree with any of the rankings? Or did you mostly agree? Let me know in the comments. Also, the next ranking video will be on the overall ranking. So who are the best overall brawlers? I have a pretty good idea of who the top three are gonna be. Two of them are probably easy to guess, but I don't know about the rest. All right, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you later.